Uh, it's been a process. Um, obviously, thankful for you know the support you know I had during this time. Obviously, it's not easy, you know, not being out there on the floor and you know having to watch. But um, you know, with everything else, you know, being around the team, being able to practice, being able to travel, um, you know, the guys just constantly you know uh, talking to me and you know vice versa. Uh, it's been good. So, John, what would you say during this time? Are some of the main things that you know you've learned and kind of reemphasized for yourself during this stretch? Uh, I pretty much just been you know focusing on me, um, honestly. Um, outside of you know the basketball stuff, um, but you know basketball wise, just you know becoming more of a leader. You know with my talk, obviously you know it's different when you know you out there on the floor and you you not. So it's not too much I can say. Obviously, you know, I'm not, you know, out there in the fire with them, but, um, you know, as much, you know, coaching or things I see, um, I just tell them. Adam Silver mentioned that he was going to have what he called a check-in with you. Uh, what was that conversation like? What, what's kind of the, what was his main message to you? Uh, it was good. Um, he was just, you know, checking on me, see how I was doing, um, how the process was going, um, pretty much that. Ja, after the, the, the ouster by the uh, Lakers, you talked about needing to make better decisions off the court. Uh, in the last few months, since mid-June, are there specific things you've done to help yourself maybe try to, to grow in any particular areas? Uh, just protecting my peace. Hey, Ja, I know you're a superstar and all like that, but you, you your first game back. How soon can people expect you to be back to this season going? I know you shouldn't expect the first game because it's going to take your time to get up. So how long should it take you to get to where you should think you should be? Uh, hopefully, you know, it, it, do, it do be the first game. But, you know, obviously, um, you know, it's different when you're actually, you know, in the game, um, getting game reps. So um, I'm just trying to come back, you know, do whatever I can uh, to help the team win. You know, I'm not forcing, you know, uh, a historic game, you know, my first game back. Um, you know, I'm just super excited to be, you know, back out there with the team. John, um, basketball's been your life. How hard has this process been of the last few months? It's, it's all you really have ever known. How hard has this been to be away and, and kind of being excited now that just a, you're a few days away from getting back to what you've always done? Uh, it was definitely tough. Um, so, Horrible days, you know. Um, it, it was tough, but like I said, you know, to you know start this, um, you know, with the support, you know, that I had, you know, throughout this process, it, you know, it definitely helped me a lot. Um, it's pretty much, you know, uh, all I could lean on, you know, at that time. You know, obviously, you know, basketball is, you know, like you said, something I've been doing, you know, pretty much my whole life. Something that's, you know, therapeutic, you know, for me. Um, obviously, you know, taking that away, it, it makes it tougher, but. Uh, like I said, I had, you know, the right people around me from my family to the organization uh, and to my other partners that, you know, helped me along this process. John, do you have um, a message to the fans who are eager to see you back out on the court? And uh, what have you learned from this process, you know, just personally and professionally? Uh, I feel like my only message is, you know, I'm just as excited to, you know, see them, um, you know, when that time comes. Uh, yeah. Ja, right here. Uh, back in kind of that September time frame, uh, your team put out some videos, accountability on shirts, rebirth, gratitude. Um, why were some of those things, themes that you felt like were important to you and important to put out? Um, it's pretty much just something, you know, uh, we had to sit down and talk, you know, amongst each other. Um, just, you know, a word that, you know, each um, one of us, you know, came up with that, you know, we felt like, to help me get through, um, to send a message, um, and you know they decided to surprise me with you know T-shirts of the words that you know uh, we pretty much agreed on. So um, that's all that was pretty much behind it. John, there was the first incident in March. You took time away to work on yourself, and then despite that, what happened in May that led to the suspension still happened. Why should people believe that the changes you made this time are long-lasting and sustainable? 
Uh, I can't, you know, make nobody believe me outside of my actions. So uh, me answering this question with just words probably won't mean nothing to nobody. John, two, two questions. One, just following up, um, what does protecting my peace mean? What does that look like? What is uh, exactly? What does that mean? Um, just doing whatever, you know, I feel like that, you know, keeps me happy, you know, keep me in a good mood. Um, right now, honestly, I feel like the number one thing outside of, you know, being around my family um, and, you know, having, you know, more time to, you know, spend with my daughter is, you know, being around the team. Um, I feel like that's you know, when I normally have my best days, when I'm normally in my best mood. So, um, coming days, hopefully, you know, I'll be, you know, even happier when, you know, it's a consistent thing. And then there's a lot of people, whether it's written or spoken, who have said, who have told you or told the world, like, what you've done wrong. I'm curious, what do you think, what mistakes do you think you've made throughout all this, this last year or so, if any? Like, what, when you've reflected, what do you, what do you think you've done wrong, if anything, or do you, not think you've done anything wrong. I made a lot of mistakes, you know, not some that's even been public, you know, even with my family. Um, it's a lot. Hey, John, talk about how this process has been, man. A lot of self-reflection, counseling, talking to people, spending time with yourself. Just talk about how it's been over the last couple of months. Uh, basically picking back and off, you know, the things I said earlier, it's been tough. Um, you know, a lot of learning. Um, a lot of teaching. Uh, it's been, you know, a process. You know, obviously, I wouldn't say, you know, uh, I regret it, but I'm, you know, not happy that it happened. Um, but I'm also, you know, grateful that, you know, I had this opportunity to, like you said, reflect um, and do things that, you know, I felt like was not only needed for me, but, you know, for my family, you know, as well, for us to, you know, realize pretty much, you know, what's all at stake, you know, um, ways, you know, we can, you know, keep each other happy. Um, and, you know, how we just, you know, have each other's back. I feel like we obviously been close before, but we came together, you know, even more, you know, during this process. Is it, has it been, as the losses have piled up, has it been, has that part of it been painful? And is there a part that makes you feel like you're somehow responsible or at least in part responsible for that? Yes, it's definitely, um, you know, some guilt in that. Obviously, I'm not on the floor. Um, and obviously nobody likes losing. So, you know, our job is to, you know, go out there and get a win. Um, I take full responsibility of that. Um, obviously, even though I'm not on the floor, you know, um, decisions I made didn't allow me to be out there, you know, to go to uh, battle with my team. So, How have you watched the first 23 games? How have you watched the first 23 games so far? And... What is your evaluation of the team as you have been watching them on television? Uh, it's pretty much has been film study for me. You know, obviously, you know, I've been with, you know, majority of the players for a while now. Obviously, we got some, you know, new pieces. So, um, you know, me being, you know, the point guard, that's, you know, guys I have to, you know, learn and, you know, find out, you know, where they want to be on the floor. Um, as far as, you know, where we stand, um, I'm not, you know, worried at all. Um, obviously, you know, we have guys out, but, um, I feel like we've been preaching over the years, you know, that next man up mentality. Um, I say, you know, I don't think it'll be long before we find it. Um, I feel like we're taking strides, you know, in the right direction um, as of now, uh, as of late. And I feel like the only way for us is to go is up. So. Yeah, with that being said, um, with that being said, John, what do you think, what's your level of optimism as far as like getting to the plans, playoff, et cetera? And what do you think about the play of Jaron Jackson Jr.? and Desmond Bain since you've been away? Uh, I mean, the uh, playoffs and playing is, you know, a, a while from now. So, you know, like I said, um, you know, before, you know, I take it day by day. Um, I feel like, you know, each day we can get better at something, whether, you know, even if it's an off day, we're taking care of your body or watching film, uh, coming to practice the next day, a shoot around or a game, um, just having our focus, you know, on the now. Uh, and as far as, you know, um, those guys in their level of play, um, I obviously feel like, you know, those guys playing at a all-star level, all-NBA level. Um, and when I come back, hopefully, you know, it stays the same and, you know, it just makes their job, you know, even easier. Ja, how is it for you to have Derrick Rose and Marcus Smart on the team? Uh, it's great, honestly. You know, um, two veteran guys who, you know, are very vocal in our locker room. 
um, who has been a big help, you know, from, you know, guys has been here for years until, you know, guys that's, you know, just coming in. Um, I feel like, you know, those pieces for us, uh, not only on the court, but off the court, you know, will help us, you know, get better, you know, all around and, you know, excel and play at a high level. John, you talked about the support you received from your family, from the organization. What about around the league from fellow players? Have they given you their support? And also, have they given you advice as well? No, nah, I didn't talk to none of them. No other players? No. Nah. And that was kind of where I was going. Like, is that, you know, any anybody you're looking for as far as mentorship? Because I'll be honest, you know, people reaching out to me and, like, can you give me in touch with John? I'm like, I don't know John. I don't talk to him like that. So I can only imagine people that's been talking to you. Is there anybody that you respect enough that you have been talking to as sort of like a mentor? Uh, I feel like I have everybody around me now that, you know, help me um, get to where I want to be. Um, no knock to anybody, you know, who's want to reach out or um, they haven't been reaching out to me. So um, no knock to them, but. Um, I feel like, you know, my family, the organization, uh, my veterans now on this team um, is, you know, all I need right now. When you talked about the learning that you did, who were you learning from specifically or, or what? Were there other resources like books or classes aside from, you know, people that you were learning from? Uh, therapy, learning from, you know, me. Obviously, I feel like I learned some stuff about myself that, you know, I didn't. Um, during that, you know, process, um, very eye-opening. Um, kind of gave me a, you know, a new look, you know, on life uh, with, you know, how I go about my days, how, you know, I carry myself. Um, you know, just being grateful and thankful, you know, that I'm, you know, still here and in, in the position that I'm in. Yeah, right here. A um, couple of quick ones, but, you know, when this suspension first hit, it was a couple of months away where you're going to make your return. As you sit here now, just days away, how how antsy are you that it's finally here? I wish the game was just earlier, and it's me talking to y'all afterwards, honestly. Uh, but um, I can say it's been, you know, a while, but it kind of, you know, went by fast. Um, I feel like, like I said earlier, what helped me is, you know, being around the guys, you know, as much as I could be. Um, what kind of, you know, helped me through this and helped this, you know, suspension go by fast. Um, I've been counting down the days, you know, myself. I wake up every day and be like, yeah, you one day closer, so. And, and with everything that you've gone through and everything that's, that you know is weighing on you as you start to play again, are you going to, do you have to play? Or do you think there's a fine line, not on the court, because you're not going to change the way you play, but with everybody, so many eyes on you now, again, do you feel like there's a, there's a sense of pressure off the court that, man, I, I just got to walk that line and just be this NBA basketball player and a father and, and with your family? Is, is there a difference this time than maybe any other time you rolled out and played in terms of the pressure to do right as you move forward? Uh, I feel like that's a good question. I honestly feel like, you know, I can't go away from being Ja. Um, I feel like that's the most important thing, you know, not trying to lose myself or, you know, be somebody that I'm not or, you know, act totally different. But the change will be, you know, my decision making and, you know, how I go about my daily life of being, you know, a NBA player, you know, a father, a role model, a brother, a son. Um, and just, you know, focusing in on that, you know, being, you know, the best job I can be. Uh, you mentioned learning things about yourself. Do you understand now why the things that happened last year or whatever happened? I mean, do you have a better understanding of it because of, of what you've been through? What's that experience been like, figuring that out? Uh, yes, but I feel like it's still a process. Um, I obviously feel like, you know, I'm not done yet at learning myself or, you know, learning new things, but, um, I definitely, you know, see why, um, you know, the things happen, happen. Um, but like I said earlier, you know, I can't say I sit up here and regret it because in the end, I feel like it made me better. Yeah, obviously the growth you made as a human. Right. Okay, yeah. yeah. The the growth you made as a human obviously takes priority, but do you think what you've learned about yourself over the last year or so can help you level up on the court even more? I'm just going on the court to be job, man. Uh, honestly, um, just, you know, every time, 
and you know I step on the floor just you know going out there and giving my all um, and focus on getting the win. John, have you paid attention to any of like the polls or stories or just media talk about guys who they've said have passed you since you've been going away, guys who got better than you? I personally got a little ticked off about it because I know you still him, but what are your personal thoughts on like the perception you've had when they say, well, this guy's better than John now or this guy's better than John? Who who they said was man, better Halliburton, than John? Halliburton, bro. Uh, who else? Uh, what's the dude who played for New York, the New York Knicks, man? Uh, Brunson, all these dudes, they say they're better than the 12, so. Uh, hats off to them, you know, yeah. for, you know, leading their teams and, you know, playing great. You know, obviously, you know, the league has, you know, a lot of talented players. Um, I have no say on, you know, who's better than me and who's not. Um, obviously, that's everybody else's opinion. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't get mad about that stuff, man. Yeah, it's a share size now. Not share size. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thank Not a little small chip no more. It's a share size.